The main advantage of cruise missiles over ballistic missiles is that they are less expensive, smaller, more accurate, and easier to manufacture. They are undoubtedly versatile, with the potential to be used for both conventional strikes and nuclear missions. With advances in technology, major powers are in the race to develop advanced cruise missiles, some of which are hypersonic. This video features the world's 10 deadliest cruise missiles to come. So first of all, we have launched AGM-183 as a weapon of rapid response. It is a hypersonic cruise missile made by Lockheed Martin and will be used by the United States Air Force. The maximum speed claimed by AGM-183 is March 20 and the operational range is approximately 1,600 km or 1,000 miles. Hanoi has recently unveiled a prototype hypersonic cruise missile called the Hayek, or two-stage rocket booster. The move comes just months after North Korea tested its weapons. It is set to begin flight testing in 2022 and enter missile service by mid-2028, similar to the Boeing's Experimental X-51 Vyrider being launched from the ground as a hypersonic weapon. Next, we have the S and M sex ground-launched cruise missile. The Uskulk M is a type of standard missile SM-6 aimed at bridging the gap between a precision strike missile and a long-range hypersonic weapon. In November 2020, Lockheed Martin was awarded a 339 million contract to build a missile by 2023. The FC-8 SW program, which means the cruise or anti-ship weapon of the future, led by your missile pioneer and BTA. It aims to replace the Air Launch Scallop or Storm Shadow anti-ship missile as well as the air and air launch exhaust and harpoon anti-ship missiles currently in use by the French and British Air and Navy. FCA can be SW.sticky with long range and large payload. In March 2016, Lockheed Martin began analyzing an improved wing design to further extend the range. The corporation was contracted in September 2018 to develop a range variant of AGM-158. The weapon will weigh approximately 2,300 kilograms and have a range of 1,900 kilometers with a payload of 910 kilograms at a unit cost of 1515 million. Above is the Brown Thaw, a hypersonic cruise missile being developed jointly by the Indian Defense Research and Development Organization in Russia. In Australia, its range is expected to be 1,000 km. Designed to destroy surface aircraft up to a range of 1,600 km. The next strike is Tomahawk. This is a modified version of the tactical Tomahawk land assault cruise missile. Designed to destroy surface aircraft at a range of up to 1,600 km. The main mission of the missiles is to keep the surface force of the Chinese Navy in the Gulf in the South China Sea. It will enhance its navigation and homing capabilities allowing it to achieve a wide range of targets with extraordinary efficiency. Since then, we have ASN-4G France developing ASN-4G medium-range hypersonic cruise missiles to replace the ASM supersonic cruise missiles. By 2023, the U.S. Navy plans to deploy new missiles on board-level ships and submarines. The goal is to design a missile capable of supersonic speeds over the Mark 4 5 or hypersonic speeds of Mach 17-8. ASN-4G can be carried by raw file fighter jet, and there is a need for missile range, which is more than 1,000 kilometers. The AGM-181 LSRO Raytheon Technologies, GM-181 Long Range Standoff Weapon, is a nuclear-armed air-launched cruise missile that will replace the AGM-86 Alcom. According to Defense News, USAF can buy more than 1,000 LSRO missiles with a range of more than 2,400 km. The range of missiles at low altitudes is estimated to be 250 to 500 km. The last missile is Zirkin. Currently in production from Russia, missiles range from 250 to 500 km at low altitudes and up to 740 km in semi-ballistic tractors, but the average range is 400 to 450 km. Zirkin can travel from Maka to Mark 9. <laughs>